Good morning, second graders. I hope you guys are ready for your first day and back to school week. It's exciting. Let's see what the mailbox has for you guys today. Get ready for second grade, Amber Brown. The best chef in second grade. The best seat in second grade. Then over here we have second grade holdout and Eva and Sadie and the best classroom ever. I'm gonna read that one today and I'll tell you about the other four books. So let's get started. So the first one I'm gonna tell you about is called The Best Seat in Second Grade. So to Sam, he's actually in the back of the room and he thinks it's a pretty good seat back there. But later on, he gets moved to the front of the room and that gets to be the best seat. The second book, The Best Chef in Second Grade, a celebrity chef actually comes to the classroom and they have to decide what their family favorite is and they prepare it for the celebrity chef. The third one, Get Ready for Second Grade, Amber Brown. That one's interesting as well because she thought she was gonna have the second grade teacher from last year, but that teacher moved. So she gets a new second grade teacher. The next one, second grade holdout. Now that one is fun because we read about him in the first grade and now he's in the second grade with his best friend, Tyler. Read that one and let me know what you think in the comments below. That one's a fun one. Today I'm going to read to you Eva and Sadie in the Best Classroom Ever by Jeff Cohen. I'm Sadie and this is my little sister Eva. I'm about to start second grade. I can tell time and I can even read books by myself. I know a lot, but beginning second grade is still a pretty big deal. Eva's about to start kindergarten. That's a big deal too. Kindergarten is completely different from preschool. First, there are no naps in kindergarten. This could be a problem for Eva. My dad says if Eva doesn't get a good nap, she gets super grumpy. So on weekends, when she's supposed to be napping, I keep Eva awake. After all, it's my job to get Eva ready for kindergarten. Also, lunch is completely different. In preschool, Eva brought her lunch from home every day, but in kindergarten, she has a choice. Bring your own or buy it there, just like a big kid. That makes Eva really nervous. It's a big decision. I tell her the biggest difference between kindergarten and preschool is there's just so much to learn. She'll have to learn about math, and writing and reading and that kind of stuff. Of course, I already know how to do those things, but Eva doesn't, and I don't want her to feel nervous on her first day. That would be sad. This means one thing, I've got a lot of work to do. At our house, we made our very own classroom. It has everything. I need to get Eva ready. Sometimes I let Eva lead the class, but most of the time I'm the teacher. There's no time to waste. Here are a few things I do to get my sister ready. I take attendance. It's important to be on time in kindergarten. I use flashcards so Eva can learn important words before the first day of school. I teach her all of the songs I learned in kindergarten. We pretend to wait in line at the cafeteria and I quiz her to make sure she remembers what she's learned. Eva's been working super hard. Sadie, what's a minus sign look like? I only know how to write my name. Ugh. Oh, and we also go outside for playground tests. When dad comes home, Eva doesn't even look up to say hi. That's when I know things aren't working out the way I planned. Eva, Dad says, can you at least say hello? 
Not now, Daddy. I'm trying to focus. Sadie's helping me get ready for kindergarten, she says. I have math sheets to do, and I don't even know what math is. The monkey bars make my hands hurt, and I'm worried about the cafeteria, too. Uh-oh. This is bad. Bad, bad. I didn't mean for Eva to get upset, so upset. Sadie, Mom says. She's only five, but she's got to be ready for school, I say. And if I don't help her, who will? You've done a great job, Dad says, but Eva doesn't have to know everything on the first day. And don't forget, you didn't have a big sister to help you get ready for kindergarten, and you did just fine. When the first day of school comes, Eva is still nervous about lunch. So she decides to take matters into her own hands. While everyone else is still getting dressed, she goes downstairs and gets whatever she can find. Guess what she makes? Peanut butter and chocolate syrup on an onion bagel. It doesn't sound like a good lunch to me, but it makes her feel a lot better. Mom and dad are surprised when they come downstairs, but I'm proud of her. Nice work, Eva, I tell her. On the way to school, Eva tells me she has butterflies, but I remind her I'll be nearby. After the morning assembly, Eva and I go to our separate classrooms, and that's when I get nervous. Will she remember everything I taught her? Will she be able to write her name? Will she be able to do the monkey bars? Is she really ready for kindergarten? When school is over, I run right to Eva's classroom to make sure she's okay. And guess what? I poke my head in and I see Eva. She isn't doing math. She isn't practicing her vocabulary words and she isn't taking a test. Guess what she is doing? She's playing with two new friends and she's happy. I guess Eva is ready for kindergarten after all. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. Let me know in the comments below and I'm hoping you're having a great day.